the hydraulics still work on the top. Uh, also added Dynamat into the doors as well. You'll notice when I shut this thing, it shuts with a good thud. Alright. So, look at it with the top down. Um, the wheels are American Racing wheels that look real similar to the SS1s. They're came with the car um, there's still a 15 inch wheel so it still looks pretty stock um, when we got it painted got all new grill inserts headlight uh, covers both inside and out right here on both sides again all new badging looks nice and crisp all the way around um, new rubber grommets as well and new lenses for the parking lights or turn signal lights and here on the back got new lenses and new stainless for these marker lights new bezels and lenses for the tail lights as well and you can notice uh, new exhaust which is put on this thing as well with some uh, Flowmaster 50s on it um, I did add this passenger side chrome mirror uh, just to help out looking over the, the passenger side and backing it up into the garage it's a little tricky um, let's peek it let's peek underneath the hood so I tried to keep this thing looking more or less stock um those that that know oldsmobile motors well will automatically notice that it's got these tall valve covers so i i had to run those valve covers with the harlan sharp uh roller rockers that you saw inside earlier and i just retained those valve covers um mainly because of this air cleaner so this air cleaner isn't stock to this car but it's better than having that AutoZone chrome thing you can buy. Let's set this over here. So, Poly 780 vacuum secondaries. Um, do have a um, uh, a solenoid for when the uh, AC system is engaged it will up the throttle from at idle just slightly um, this uh, air breather is tied into that snorkel right so when you're at wide open throttle and you don't have a vacuum for your, P your uh, PCV valve well then you're still sucking air out of the crankcase and down the carburetor to keep that negative pressure uh, down in the in the motor. Um, uh, a sand in AC compressor for that uh, vintage air setup. Again, you still get the original AC compressor and original brackets for it. Um, I did smooth out the firewall a while ago. Um, the original firewall is still back there. This piece was actually uh, cut and welded on. Um, so uh, if you have a great desire of running the original AC for whatever reason, you still get that firewall back there. Um, it's kind of buried back here, but here is that adjustable vacuum switch, right? So it pulls vacuum right here from the manifold and this switch right here 
uh, below nine inches of, of mercury, it will uh, disengage, or above it, it will engage, right? Um, and to adjust it, you just take this vacuum hose off, and with an Allen uh, wrench, you can make the adjustment the way you want it. What I'm about to do is a cold start. I just kind of want to prove it to you guys. Uh, I moved this car in my garage early, early this morning. Uh, we're at 93 there. I mean, it's been, there's the water jacket. Move it and take. Water jacket right there. We're at 88. All right, I mean, the exhaust is at 84. This is a cold motor. Um, let's see how she, how she cranks up. There is a high volume oil pump on that 455. Um, so at cold, right around 70, once it gets warmed up, it does 40 at speed, and then at idle, around 20. Um, one thing that I do want to mention to you as well is uh, the speedometer works, blinkers work on it here everything works on this gauge as well uh, fuel tank uh, clock does not work right and then uh, one thing to know is when you put your brights on uh, for whatever reason this light here at night goes out when you uh, move over to brights it's one of those oddball things uh, wipers work Definitely passed inspection. Instead of smooth running, not much more than stock 455. Interior lights work. That uh, solenoid engage when, when the AC kicks on. So in drive, that's gonna be fourth gear in this car. That's gonna be third, second. I still retain the stock console. You can't get physically to first gear. Obviously it'll still start off in first gear, but it will not, 
you can't force it in first gear and stay in first gear okay so running around town I keep it in third gear right once I get faster than 45 50 miles an hour I like to just throw it into fourth right and let that a uh, minute later that lock up will will engage um, show in this video is that this car is pretty tight she doesn't rattle doesn't roll going over bumps or anything like that it's overall just a pretty smooth running car oh real quick you can see temperature The transmission is a performance build and so she hits harder than than a standard transmission would that's just something you're gonna have to get used to uh, 